Hey guys, so a lot of people have wanted me to check out the iOS 7 GM edition on the iPhone 4. So here is that video. So let's see here, you just confirm that it is the iPhone 4, A1332 and has this little thing. Okay, let's boot it up. So there are some differences between this version of GM and the iPhone 5s uh, that I've already been making a review of and been going over different features or I mean different new things inside of that. So the reason also why I'm booting up here is so people can see how quick or how long time it is there in the in terms of the boot up process. Okay, there we go. So the first thing you can see here is that I've changed the wallpaper to a new wallpaper that is available. So if you start over there, at the, or if you start here in general, um, in terms of smoothness, oh, what? That was some kind of, maybe, I'm not sure if it was lag or that it did just glitch up if the screen was a little bit nasty. Uh, you can see here, of course, we don't have spotlight, same as in all of those other updates. You can see still lag when you go down like this. But remember, I mean, this is an iPhone 4. We have so many new iPhones, and this phone is almost four years old phone. They can still run Apple's latest software. I, I think that's one quality thing uh, that you can kind of feel secure with Apple stuff. Uh, but of course, you may not get the best software or software experience. You can see you don't get any transparency over here. And uh, if you go down like this, this is what's something I really do like about Apple though, that they made this experience smooth, uh, but they already did that in the earlier updates as well. Uh, but in one of those be iOS 7 betas, it was a little bit laggy and that was horrible, but it's smooth here with your calendar and your stocks and all of those things. And uh, also it's smooth here in the experience when you lock the device. There you go, when the icons pop up like that, it's it's very, very smooth, so you can see that they've been thinking about that. Let's see here if we move this one to a folder. And that one is also pretty smooth, which is good to know. Uh, let's have a look here at the control center, just drag it up. Still see, you don't you can't get the same kind of transparency. You may can tweak it a little bit in the settings, but not as much as you would get on the iPhone 5. If we go and take, let's see here, also in terms of going in and out of apps, that could definitely be a little bit slower. Multitasking area, this when you scroll like this, it's smooth, which is good to know. Now wait a sec. Let's just fire up some other apps as well. It's connected to my Wi-Fi network, which shouldn't be an issue. That, that my Wi-Fi network usually works awesome. But of course, with a single core, in terms of loading times, might be a little bit slow here and there. You might want to upgrade iPhone. I mean, these thumbnails here take some time to load a little bit. Let's go to the movie section. Not too bad overall, if you just can wait a little bit. Usually the transition when you wanna pop up something like the, the multitasking area right now, it's kinda of smooth, look at this. But when I'm going back, it's a little bit less smooth uh, from my experience over here. But this, as well, just as I said here, kind of smooth, which is good to know. See here, if you swipe to remove something as well, not super bad. If you take a look at some of the other new things here, 
in terms of wallpapers that they've added these new wallpapers now you don't get those dynamic live wallpapers that you do get inside of the iphone 5 and the 4s but we have a bunch of different new wallpapers here uh, which you can see and i'm using one of them at the moment let's try this one for an example probably one of my favorites you can clearly see that Apple I think that they've made some inspiration here from the Lumia devices that's been very very colorful devices and that's why they also released this new iPhone 5c which is, is a very very colorful iPhone let's take a look at one more here like a dotted chrome background So you don't get the dynamic wallpapers, but you get a ton of new different wallpapers that I just showed you there. Uh, let's take a look at here at some other things. Do you get those new ringtones, for example, that you do get inside of the iPhone? Yes, yeah, so you do get all of the new ringtones here as well. We can just go over them pretty quick. And this is of course ringtones just for iOS 7. And then of course, let's see here. I do like the last one over there. I mean this is a beautiful one. <laughs> and then you do get the old uh, ringtones that you do get uh, in iOS 6 in a classical folder here. You probably heard that one. And then you do, and uh, then they have replaced the alert tones as well with some new alert tones. And then you can also find the old alert tones. So quickly look at that. What else have they uh, changed? Let's see here if they do have this new lock sound that they did have in the iPhone 5 update. Yes, the the lock sound they, they also changed that, but they don't have. It's more like an echo sound, but they don't have an unlock sound. I'm not sure if they're gonna fix that. What else? Do they have this new kind of charge sound? I'm just gonna see if I can find my charger. So I did find the cable. Let's see here. If we do have this new sound when you are charging your smartphone. that you did get in the iPhone 5. Yes, they replaced that thing as well. So not a super big thing, but hey, it's a new little thing. What else, what else, what else, what else, what else? Uh, of course you don't get Siri inside of the iPhone 4, so you don't get that 
new Siri mic sound and everything. See here if I can hold it in to see if I can, yeah, there we go. So you used to have voice control, which is like a light version of something, or Siri. I think you can call it like that. So just quickly a look at, at it over here. If you want me to go over specific apps, go more in detail on that. Maybe you found something as well, something that they've changed. I think that they could have played around a little bit with iCloud's keychain. They could have done, or they might have done that. So, um, uh, but if you know any specific more new f features inside of this, of course you can tell that in the comment section down below or if something that I missed, I probably missed a ton of things. Uh, but just quickly a quick view uh, and look at it over here. Definitely probably worth updating to, especially if you're on, on one of those earlier betas. The, this is probably also going to come out to the general public, I think on September 18th which is going to be like Monday next week, I think. I mean, depending on when you're watching this video, but if you're watching this video on, on the upload date, then definitely that will be the date where you can also enjoy some of these new things without having to be a developer. Yeah, have a good day.